Hello everyone, this is Angelicus and welcome to my introduction video to my Chinese water dragon and his complete habitat. <clears throat> okay, first off, this is my Chinese water dragon, Hydro. I'm hoping he's going to turn out to be a male. I got him at Little Ray's Reptile Zoo, they sexed him uh, when he was just a few weeks old, which you can't really do without probing them. Or waiting until they reach sexual maturity, which is about a year old for them. But they guaranteed me that he'd be a male, so I don't know how they did that. Um, so I'm just hoping, hoping that he's going to be a male. But if he turns out to be a female, no problem. Just call him Hydra instead. He's a little camera shy. He sometimes acts up. I guess not. Oh, there we go. Say hi to YouTube, little guy. Anyway, moving on. This is a terrarium. I got it for 50 bucks from a woman who used to house um, a carpet snake in here. Or was it a ball python? I can't remember. Anyway, it's three feet high, two feet across, and about one foot deep. It's fine for him for now. I got plans for a bigger terrarium when he's going to be completely mature, but it's good for now. I have a 75 wattage bulb on top to keep the top right here, his basking place uh, about 90 to 95 degrees Celsius, which is fairly perfect for him. Uh, I have this little platform that I made with uh, a plastic sheath and reptile carpet that I keep up with fishing wire and suction cups and little clips that you use for clipboards or whatever. Works out well. He enjoys it. And I find them there fairly often. Uh, on the side here, I have another basking bulb that I keep on a little light stand. I used to keep it stuck to the, to the glass with uh, a suction cup. But if you look here, you can see that everything started cracking because of the heat. So I didn't want all this to fall off, so I got the stand, cost me 20 bucks. I had to up the wattage about f by 50. I have a 150 watt bulb in there. Works out perfectly well, no more cracking. I had to wipe all the shards that like burst out because you don't want that little guy getting hurt, right? So yeah, his uh, temperatures are perfect. I keep the cage humid with this little water ball right here that I, you can get for a buck. Uh, you have to do quite a bit of spraying. But gets the job done. Keeps him happy. Keeps him healthy. I use these two supplements right here. Multivitamins and calcium. I dust that on just about everything he eats. So he has the best health possible. And the best diet possible. Right here I have some shedding aid. I spray this on him about once a month. It actually helps him shed fairly well, actually. And when you spray it on, it gives him quite a nice shimmer. You spray it on him a couple times and you rub it in. And if you can believe it, he looks even better afterwards. When I first got him, they put him in this little container so you could get an idea of how small he was. Next to him. Can't even fit in. He's about, uh, I think, 15 or 16 inches long right now. He's getting there. He's about 4 to 5 months old. Huh, so, yeah. More detail for what I use for this. Um, I got some, just some uh, plantation soil on the bottom, keeps the humidity up, works really well. I put a kitty litter box in there from to soak in with a little small waterfall so you could drink out of. And it has a tiny little filter in there with a water pump so water circulates, stays clean, and I clean it every two to three days. 
it's recommended to do it every day, but since I have the little filter in there, I have to do a little less work. So yeah, that's that. Rate my keeping, if you will. Rate my dragon. And I'll be back with more videos on Hydro, the Chinese water dragon. Blah. You got problems, man.